everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now for today's video, I went all out and I stayed at the worst rated hotel in Brighton. <coughs> Not gonna lie, this was a horrible experience. It was actually a lot worse than I expected it to be. So last night I went online and I looked for and Googled the worst reviewed hotel in Brighton. There was actually quite a few, but this one happened to be the worse with a one star rate in fact i don't actually think you can get a zero star but anyways the reviews were absolutely awful and at first i thought you know what they must be exaggerating surely a place can't still be trading if the reviews are that bad and it's that disgusting so i'm just gonna read out a couple of the reviews of the hotel <laughs> okay so this one says how important is your health to you basically says that it's so disgusting it's not healthy and you should not stay there says joke do not stay here absolutely disgusting worst place i've ever had misfortune to stay beware i mean if that isn't enough itself to put anyone off i don't really know what is truly horrendous avoid like the plague the most disgusting place to stay on earth I mean, I'm laughing now, but at the time I was not laughing. Shocking, do not stay here. I mean, it just gets worse if I'm being completely honest. None of the reviews are great. Terrible, avoid, with like three exclamation marks. This was the worst part to me. As soon as I read this one, I was like, oh no. Bed bugs, stay away and... I do not want to stay anywhere with bed bugs in it. So after reading all of these reviews, I decided I could not stay here on my own. So I wanted to find someone that could protect me, that was big, that was strong. And I couldn't find this person, so instead I invited my dad. I actually feel really bad for my dad. Bless him, he does get roped into the worst things. But you know what? It's a memory. It's great to look back on. And at least we know we never want to stay there again. If you've been following me on YouTube, you would know that I did actually stay at the best hotel in Brighton with my mum. And in fact, I actually don't really want to tell you what it was like in case you haven't seen it, but I will link it down below. But in that video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see me stay in the worst hotel in Brighton. And you guys were a little bit mixed. I mean, literally 99% of the comments were, please say it the worst. So, um, I did that. It was definitely an experience. I don't really want to tell you exactly what happened. So, I want you guys to watch the video and find out. But I did go in there with a good mind. I want you to go in, you know, because I read these reviews and I thought, surely it just can't be running if it is that bad. Like, surely these people must be exaggerating. But this was my experience, so I hope you guys enjoy. Dad? <laughs> yeah? You know, I asked you if you'd stay in the worst rated hotel with me. I have booked it for tonight. Don't you have Yeah, I have. Well, you can't actually book it, basically. I rang up and, well, you can't actually book it anywhere online, would you say? Are they fully booked? They're not fully booked, no, but I rang up and I tried to book it online, right? And they said that you just walk in and you book at the door because there's loads of rooms, which is slightly worrying, but you know. So I haven't actually booked, but we're going tonight. You're joking. I'm being serious. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Look forward to it. Right, here we go. Come on. <laughs> well, there's actually no one here. What does it say? So as we've arrived, it says, lift is out of order. This is what it looks like. We are just waiting <laughs> for someone to turn up. Right, this is what it looks like. We're just waiting. I mean, it doesn't really look like anyone's gonna turn up anytime soon, but we're just waiting. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is so weird. I mean, at least they've got cute little lights. I was gonna say, at least they've got cute little lights. They look really pretty, but that's actually next door. This is what it looks like. No, to be fair, at least they've got some cleaning products. You never know, it could be a lucky day. At least they might just clean here. They're probably out of date. <laughs> Good thing is, they have the Wi-Fi password, so Dad's taking this up to our room, if we get one, <laughs> for the night. <laughs> We've been waiting for like 35 minutes, and we haven't really got anywhere. No one's turned up, it's 20 minutes later. Oh wait, and the upstairs, you can't even go up it, because it's just one door. It looks like it's locked, almost. It smells, I feel like <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Ensuite room, room with an ensuite bathroom. Oh yes, please. Cool. Do you have one with two beds in it though? Two separate beds. Yeah, please. Um, because we only have double beds, not twin beds. Okay. okay in is each just, room. Is there one double bed in each room? Is there? Also? Yeah. Right, okay. We're just walking up to the room, so I'm pretty sure that this is. Well, this is all 
god, this is mold. The whole thing is mold. That's gross. That's so gross. I hope the room's in like that. Oh my god, it really does, Dad. I hate the smell of cigarettes. I can't sleep in it. Oh, it's just dripped upstairs. It smells so bad of cigarettes. What the hell is this? Oh wow. Okay, where do you reckon our room is then? <laughs> Downstairs wasn't that bad, but oh, it's horrible. Oh, at least we've got the toilets here. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> it does smell bad. Oh, God. It smells so bad. So cold. That's not enough to scare you away. I don't know what it is. <laughs> we are laughing so much. So basically, I paid £10 extra to get an ensuite rather than a communal toilet and this is what it looks like oh it's literally door. a door on a what what is it on the door will open <laughs> well, your dad's trying to open the door for his stuff right what's it on what is this that the door's on that's so bizarre it's not even a room right so to make it clear it's really cold so we're actually it's keeping our jackets crazy. on it's actually the freezing day of the year well. yeah to be fair. It's really cold. My dad and I have separate rooms. So I paid £40 for my room and dad paid £30 for his room. The reason my room was £10 more expensive was because of the fact that I have an ensuite. I didn't want to share the toilets out there. I've actually never gone to a hotel and not had a toilet in my room. And I'm not like one to be like, oh, I need a toilet in my room. But I just thought that was normal. I thought that's what just came with a normal hotel room, but clearly it doesn't. So if you're staying here for two people, it doesn't matter if there's three of you in one room or if you get three rooms, it's £30 per person. So my dad and I could have stayed in here together and it would have been the same price. So it would have been, well, if we stayed in here together, it would have been £80. Right. And if you think about it, this is not worth £80. Like you can go to so many nicer places yeah. that has heating and this, for less than £80 and, pounds and in Britain. And the ensuite looks like a TARDIS, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got a cardboard box with a sliding door on there. <laughs> I dread to think what my room's going to be like. <laughs> I hadn't even got a TARDIS. <laughs> I know, and you, you, you look crazy. It looks like it's growing stuff in there. Right, so it's a little bit squeaky everywhere you step, like, if I step back a sec, you can kind of hear it squeak. It's also, I don't know if you can actually hear it on the camera, but it's so loud. So downstairs, it's actually like a nightclub. So it's so loud downstairs. Like, I actually don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight because I, well, I can't sleep with any sound, so that's going to be an issue. But I'm going to come and show you around the room. So one good thing is we do have a TV here, which I don't really want to touch because actually, like, if my mum done the clean test, like my mum did on the best reviewed one, there would definitely be a lot of dust. And then you come around, we've got our bed. I mean, to be fair, the bed's a reasonable size. It just doesn't look. Look at this. No, that is and disgusting. Look at the sheets and stuff. That is disgusting for a hotel, isn't it? Look at it? That's not good. Like, I really wanted to come in here with a good mindset, but that's just, like, I actually feel a bit gross just putting my hands up like that. Oh, it's just kind of gross. Then we have the wardrobe. I don't actually know. The handles have broken off the wardrobe. <laughs> And this is cracked. You can get really cheap wardrobes. For 80 good. quid as well. Yeah, for 80 quid. Like The thing is, it's actually expensive for two people to stay here. This is the wardrobe. I mean, at least you've got some wardrobe space. The windows are just awful. Everything about them is awful, especially because my dad works at a window business. Yes. He's definitely looking at this thinking, thinking I should have brought some business cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he should have brought some business cards. Well, I don't want to completely shut it because I don't think we're going to have to open it again. It's like a TARDIS in the room. But look at that though, first. Look. This is my ensuite. When I pay for an ensuite, I do not really expect it to look like this. So this is what you're paying £10 extra for. Yeah, £20 for two of you. If two of you stayed in here, this is what you'd be paying £20 extra for. I mean, just look. Look at that. It just looks like it hasn't been cleaned in so long. I mean, this looks more clean than the bedroom, to be fair. Like, at least they've actually put some, like, liquid down the toilet. Should we go have a look at yours? Yours is going to be so much worse because yours is cheaper as well. Absolutely dreaded. <laughs> okay, let's go. Go. Right, so we're going to go to my dad's room. Right, so it's actually a fill-up. Ready? That's so awkward. They're having sex next door. I'm here with my dad. That's so gross. And awkward. Again, I repeat, awkward. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me the door won't open. Are you serious? <laughs> Wait, can it actually not open? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Why can't it open? <laughs> oh, she looks nice 
closer than mine. It is so cold. Right, so Dad's gonna give a little tour of his room. I actually think his is nicer, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> What is that? Oh no! Oh my god! Yes, every time you open the door, that's why it won't open properly because it just literally goes into the wall. But aside from all of that, do you know what? A good hotel to me is a hotel that has a mirror, so that's one great thing, and also a hotel that has a TV. It has a TV. We don't actually know if it works yet, but we know that we have one. And also, there's quite a lot of space for like storage and stuff. Like, there's this wardrobe here. I don't think the USB ports are going to be working. <laughs> I don't so think the know, USB ports. Okay. No, it's not actually a USB, Dad. It's just normal. I know pumps. that. Look at it. It's not. No, I know, but. <laughs> Look at that. You can't really see. It's literally coming out of the wall. Oh my god. The window is actually cracked. Okay, well another good thing is they have given us fresh towels. I mean, he doesn't have a shower, so I don't really know why he needs it. But there is some fresh towels. And they do look clean, to be fair. At least the towels look clean. Okay, so Dad's going to test the bed now. Because we feel like this is the most important part. If the bed is comfy, that's what's the best. The best part about a hotel is if the bed is comfy, right? Yeah, the chair's alright. So let's try the bed. By the way, I love the bed sheet. I mean, I don't love, but I think they're quite cute, so. Okay, you've actually got to get in the bed. You've got to lay down. You've got to show everyone. Dad? Yeah, it is really low. It is so low. I hate low beds as well. Pop up the pillows. Get inside. Dad, come on. You've got to sleep in here tonight anyways. We actually didn't think the bed was that bad when we first came in. However, when you actually look up close, the whole bed, like, this has all come off. This is what the ceiling looks like. Oh, God. I really hope that's my dad. I don't actually know who this is. I'm actually pretty scared. Who is it? Oh, it's my dad. It's my dad. Hang on. I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you did it. No way did you bring that with you. Oh my god! I've got a new one as well. So. Oh my god, that is I'm so funny. Now. I'm actually gonna sleep in mine. Like, I don't wanna be over the top, but I actually do feel a bit gross in here. I can't believe you got these. This Where did you even get this stuff from? from a murder scene. Where did you even get it from? I got it from building merchants. <laughs> <laughs> So, Dad and I have just been here chilling. I've just been doing some bits on my laptop. But we just went to go and watch the TV. Because we was actually quite happy there was a TV. But then we realised there's actually no batteries in the remote. And obviously we don't just carry around batteries on us. So, we can't watch the TV. We actually sat like this, being dead serious. But we haven't even thought anything of it because this is now the normal. I know I'm tired as well that we've literally just been chatting for about an hour. We have nothing else to talk about, do we? I'm so bored of you now, Dad. I love you, Thanks but like, much. we just don't even know what to talk about. And I don't want to take it off. Now, I need to watch what my makeup. Room. So it's actually pretty late already. It's like half past 11 as I'm filming this. But I'm just wiping off my makeup. I'm so ready for bed. But my dad and I was having a conversation. We're saying like, imagine if it was like your first time in Brighton and you needed somewhere to stay and you know, you just passed and you thought, you know, this place looks all right. And you'd already paid the 80 pounds that it costs to stay here. So imagine you'd already paid that. And then you got actually in your hotel room and it was this. Like, you'll be so disappointed. And I think that's what happened to a lot of the people in the reviews. Like, it was just people that were just passing by and needed somewhere to stay. And I definitely think they regretted it. My dad's just leaving to go in his bed. But um, <laughs> he's just pulled the curtain and the curtain's ripped. I also am really bad sleeping with light. But to be honest, we're going to leave here really early. At least this bit shut up. Okay. Right. Oh, God. It actually feels quite comfy, though. Night, Dad. Night, darling. Night. Love Sleep you. <laughs> Oh, thanks. <laughs> when people say that normally, they don't mean it, but this time I think you're pretty serious. I know you can barely see me, um, but it's really late and I'm going to bed now. The bed actually isn't too uncomfy, so that's good. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so tired. How do you sleep? Horrible. Why? It's so early. I honestly slept like a baby, but the only reason I woke up is because you kept texting me how uncomfy your bed was. February 27th, 5.13am. Perfect. I know. At least we managed to stay here. It is the next day now. Dad and I are back home. You know, it's I'm so excited to see my own bed tonight. Are you? Bad. That was absolute <laughs> awful. 
awful. To be fair, I didn't think my my bed was that uncomfy, but Dad thought his was so uncomfy. Hence why he kept calling me in the middle of the night yeah, to tell well, me how uncomfy it was. Hence why we left the fire. Nice and had springs, and well, we're not even going to go there. Always, so. <laughs> yeah, I Dad get, literally stuck in the same up room. In the worst hotel. <laughs> while her mum gets the best hotel. Yeah, sorry, so Dad. There, <laughs> to I'm, be fair, I am definitely owed one. <laughs> to be honest, the hotel was really, really, really bad. Dad and I did want to go in there with a good mindset, like we wanted to go in there thinking, you know what, it could be all right, and it just really wasn't. But I still don't think it was as bad. Oh, actually, I was gonna say I don't think it was as bad of, as the reviews, but for the money, actually, it was like for the money. Yeah. I would never pay eighty pounds to stay there or seventy pounds to stay there, would you? Um, definitely not. No, exactly. I'd, I'd get a sleeping bag and sleep outside. Yeah, I would rather do that too, literally. <laughs> So that was our experience. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know what you think of the hotel down in the comments below. And let me know if you think if you've stayed in a worse hotel than the one that we stayed in. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you all very, very, very soon. And we didn't have breakfast either. No, we didn't. Bye. At least the baby.